Hey everyone, welcome to Pictory Essentials. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to export video from Pictory. If you want to get the most out of your video editing experience, then you're going to want to know the best way to export your videos. We'll take you through the step-by-step -step process so you can get the job done right. Welcome to the walkthrough on how to export video in Pictory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. I'm going to also give you some additional um, tips and tricks as far as what happens inside of the platform as you're doing this. So what you see right now is the test project. Create a test project here and this test project has already been generated as far as the video goes so I'm going to show you the files that are created let me show you that right now so I double click into the project and as you can see there is the project file and then you also have the videos file which there's in this case there's only one video and then you also have your text it gives you three different text files as you can see um, it gives you the dot SRT the dot VTT and the dot TXT. So that's what you have after you generate a video from your project. These are the files that you will see. Now, after you have generated the video for your project, how do you export? Well, for the video itself, since this is on how to export a video in Pictory, all you have to do is click on this dot here and then download. Then you're done. You've exported the video to your desktop or to whatever file you have your download going to from your browser um, onto your computer. Now, Pictory also provides some other ways to download stuff from your project. Now, what that is, is that you can also download or export out your project file. Now you might be asking, well, why would I want to do that for? Well, there's a number of reasons why you would want to do that. It allows you to back up your project files to like, let's say Dropbox, or let's say your Google Drive, or you might even be using something more sophisticated like GitHub, which is a version control platform online. So what you would do is you would basically back up different versions of your project because what Pictory does is that once you make a change to your project, all right, it overwrites this existing project file. So you don't have any version history as far as your project file is concerned inside of Pictory. As far as your videos, if you click on generate and video, it overwrites this video file. So the previous generation is now lost. And the same holds true for each one of these text files. So you may want to think about setting up some type of file system version control or something more sophisticated like GitHub. I do know that Dropbox now has version control built into it um, for certain plans. So if you do upload a file, it will keep the previous version and date each specific one that you upload into it of that particular file name and type. So that is how you export a video in Pictory if you've already generated the file, okay? If you already generate the project, I should say, and to a video. Now, what I'm gonna show you here also is, let's say that I'm starting off with a fresh project and we'll do that right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on projects. I'll click here and go back. So you would think that if you clicked on projects, it would carry you back to your main project screen. But if you click on projects here, as you can see, it does not. So what you need to do is click on this back arrow and that will carry you to it. And then your projects will be listed here. So I click on the back arrow and you can see my projects. And then I'm right back to where I was at before, which is test projects. But I wanna go all the way back to here to see all my projects. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new project. And now, remember I said before that you wanted to back up your projects? 
and then you could actually import your project back in again well that's where the import project but that'll be for a different video where we'll cover off on how to import a project and what you can do with it as far as version control goes so i'm going to go ahead and create a new project so we have we're, we're to the um, dashboard where we can actually select which type of um, project we want to create we are given four different types of projects we're giving a script to video article to video edit videos using text and visuals to videos these are all so nice i tell you they're really really nice to have what we're going to use is script to video make it really simple we're going to do a simple script i'm just going to basically call this hello world all right hello world and then i'm just going to put hello world here all right and so this is just for demonstration purposes only. Of course, if you built out your script, it'd have way more information in there. And Pictory, with its AI-generated video, would be able to do wonderful things for you. But this is just to show you, okay, what happens when you create a new project and you want to export out the video. So we go here and we hit proceed. We're going to basically select the first template that comes up. And we're going to go 16 by 9. Now, what Pickery is going to do is it's going to use that AI to generate your storyboard and it's going to also create the video to match with your script, which is, I tell you, it is so fantastic that it does this. So as you can see, it has hello world as far as that's our script. And then it has our scene. I'm just going to preview that so you can see what that looks like. Hello world comes up and then the video plays and sure enough, it matched up and it says hello. So that's good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and go back to projects. All right. So this has already been saved. OK, so one you got to realize is that in Pictory, your projects are auto saved. So any changes that you make are auto saved. So if I was to add something, it would be auto saved. But I'm going to go back and show you what the project file looks like now. So I go here. And as you can see, I have my Hello World project in Test Projects, and I'm going to double click on it. And as you can see, it's a lot different than the other project file I had before that we generated the video. So the only thing we have here now is just the project file, which we can export or download. But there are no videos generated yet and no text generated yet. So we're going to go back into our project. And we're going to go on to generate and then video and we'll see what happens here. So this is going to go very quickly because we don't have a, a lot of slides or scenes that are set up here. And so as this project is generating the video for us, we're going to basically show the difference between before, before we actually generated video and then after as far as what now what are in those project file sections that we looked at before. So I'm going to pause this as this is generating and then come back once it's done. Okay, so it is now at the end of generating. And as you can see, we have links right here for downloading to PC. We can also copy the link to share. And then we also have export the text. And so you can see the three text files that we talked about earlier. So what we're going to do is, all you got to do is if you want to download from here, you just click on download and it downloads it to your PC. So that's one way to, to download it after you've generated the video from your project. And then another way to download it is to go to your project. And we're gonna double click on the Hello World project. And as you can see, all the files are populated inside of this project now, Hello World, since we did generate video. And so if we wanted to export that video file, we could just come here and then click the three dots and you can see download and then that will export the video to your your hard drive or your desktop or wherever you have it going to and so that how how it works that's how you know easy it is to export a video in pictory so in our our next video um please look for our next video please like this video if you like this video please subscribe if you like this channel,
and if you have any comments or want any other type of tutorials um, for Pictory, please let me know and I will do my best to create it for you.